What's going on everybody? This is Joe and I am back once again for another pre-release pack opening, this time another Ikoria pack. These, uh, This is part of our 2020 revisited pre-release pack openings series. Um, I decided I wanted to do these, one, because, you know, game stores had a bunch of these left over because we weren't able to play in events at those stores. Um, and also because, you know, I love pre-release packs. I, I may have a problem. But um, we'll put that D20 up there. Um, I uh, Yeah, I just enjoy it greatly. Um, these sets were really great, and I want to do them some justice. We have the little insert on mutating your creatures. We have a code, which is still valid at the time of recording and at the time that we upload this almost certainly. Uh, and so you will all be able to, well, whoever, somebody is going to get this code and someone's going to be able to use it. That will be at some point in the video. There is also the punch out, uh, counters, all the different, uh, abilities, etc. So we'll put those on the side. We have a divider as well with the gem razor on it. So that's cool. Uh, so somewhere among these packs, we will have um, the code giveaway, but here are the packs as well. We'll move those over too. So let's see what we can get in here. Let's talk about uh, what kind of a deck we would make, uh, what kind of a deck you would make if you were in my shoes, uh, and if you opened this at an event. And let's look at my promo foil rare. It is this Labyrinth Raptor. Let's get it a little closer for you. The foiling on this is somewhat lackluster, I feel. Maybe the spines on its back are cool. Eh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. But otherwise, somewhat lackluster. I'm not a huge fan of the foiling pattern. Uh, and the card is, is just fine. I don't think that, um, like, Menace Tribal is really a thing that is uh, viable. But who knows? Maybe I'll be proven wrong. We have a Vivian pack to start. Let's just rip right into it. If you've missed our other videos in this series, um, there should be a playlist for you linked at the end, um, but feel free to, you know, check it out, check out the things on our channel that have been put up recently. We have a Spell Eater Wolverine, a Garrison Cat, Phase Dolphin, Honey Mammoth, a Cavern Whisperer Showcase Art, such cool art, oh my god, it's so good. We have a Coordinated Charge, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, a Crustacean, such a funny card. Void Beckoner is the first uncommon. What a what a beastly looking monster this thing is. A Mystic Subduel and an Indatha Crystal. We'll try to remember that we have these for um, if and when things jump out at us for what we want to do. Uh, because this is a very good one. But my next rare or mythic is whoa. Okay. Hell yeah. I appreciate that. This is the Borderless Alt Art Vivian Monsters Advocate. Very, very nice. It is a mythic. What a great way to start this kit, too. Okay. I mean, I would definitely lean more towards this than this Labyrinth Raptor that we got. Um, what we would pair it with yet is somewhat harder to tell. Um, we got the Void Beckoner, the Mystic Subduel, and the Indatha Crystal as our uncommons. Um, the Crystal would help uh, if we wanted to put black and white in with this Vivian, but this is really sweet. This almost certainly gets in unless there's like really just no green at all for us. Um, and even then, I don't know, double green is a tough splash, but that's fine. Behind it, do we have a foil as well? We do. Okay, how sick is this pack going to be? What do we think? Okay, it is a foil common in Whisper Squad. I mean, hey, you know, foils are cool. Ooh, their masks look awesome. Wow, 2020 Revisited, their masks look awesome, huh? All right, I appreciate that. And the blade on this Whisper Squad guy over here, this blade looks cool too. Very, very nice. Okay. Well, behind that Whisper Squad, that was a sick pack, I like that, was a mountain and an ad card. Boo, ad card. You know what? Ad card. That's it. Whole pack was trash. Uh, we have a prickly marmoset. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Inside of the prickly marmoset pack, we have a wing fold terran, a 
Tentative Connection, Solid Footing, Frost Veil Ambush, very cool. Ah, oh, an Almighty Brushwog, what's up, buddy? A Durable Coil Bug, Farfinder is a sweet card. Cloud Piercer, also pretty good. Coordinated Charge. A Migratory Great Horn, I'm just getting all the uh, alt art green cards. We got the Cavern Whisperer too, but still. We have a Migratory Great Horn. A Titanith Rex is our first uncommon. And it's green. Pretty nice. Um, okay. We have a Majestic Auricorn. More uh, Mutate. And a Splendor Mare. Okay, interesting. So green-white so far is what stands out to me, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Green is definitely great. No question. Let's see if we can find a second color in some rares and mythics. My next rare or mythic is... Yadaro Wandering Monster. I don't hate this card, especially in um, Sealed, where it would be a little bit slower. Obviously, in Constructed, where you can have four of these, this card is sick. But in Sealed, where you're only going to have one, and then if you are, like, the luckiest person alive, you have two, um, it's going to take a while to get this thing out. But when you do, it seems pretty great. So, Yadara Wandering Monster is here, followed by a Wind Scarred Crag and a Human Soldier Token. That token is sick looking. I love that. Well, it's that time. We have a code for MTG Arena. This is our way of saying thank you to each and every one of you for watching our stuff. We try not to advertise that we do these codes because we want these to go to people who come to watch our videos because there are videos, not because they have a code giveaway in them. So this is our way of saying thank you somewhat privately for that as opposed to um, throwing it out there and getting tons of views, which probably wouldn't happen anyway. But to be fair, We've uh, we've decided to do this, you know, this way instead, especially with all the pre-release packs we open. Just as a reminder, if you have already used a code, I know it's been a bit, uh, if you've already used a code from an Ikoria pre-release pack for Arena, this will not work for you, so don't waste your time. But if you do use this code, it does work for you, and you do get it, please uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and let us know that it worked for you so that we can congratulate you and let us know if you got anything cool out of the packs. So that is, again, our thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for watching here on Geek For All. We have a Vivian pack next. We're not done yet, obviously. In fact, with Vivian, uh, we're just getting started, apparently. Inside, we have a Capture Sphere, a Dranith Stinger, Snare Tactician. Well, that pack really wants us to be um, in the cycling deck, huh? Okay. Uh, we have Of One Mind. Nice card. Unlikely Aid. Bristling Boar. Vulpakeet is our is uh, a showcase art, I should say, for more white mutate, which is, again, somewhat of an atypical mutate color, but we've gotten some interesting stuff. A Moss Coat Goriak. A Boot Nipper. Valiant Rescuer is the first uncommon. Like I said, really wants us to be cycling. Jubilant Skybonder, nice one, is the second uncommon. And Archipelagor is the third. Lots of really cool mutate cards. And my next rare or mythic is... Wow, more mythics in Vadrock, Apex of Thunder. Interesting. This is not green. Uh, <laughs> this is a tricolored mythic that does not coordinate with our Planeswalker that we opened. And to be honest, I think Vivian's better than this, this card. Although, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This could go in a two-color deck. This could go in red-white or red-blue if you only use the mutate cost and don't worry about its casting cost. Interesting. That's super confusing. What the heck are we going to do? Okay. Behind Vadrock, I think I have a foil. How sick is this pack? Oh, wow. First of all, double mythic pack. Second of all, third mythic of our kit. Wow, this is sick. You know, I said it's funny. The last one of these uh, retrospective videos that we did was Zendikar Rising. And I mentioned that, like, that one was kind of interesting, but the others have not been impressive. And I said we were going to get better in the future, and we sure did. We sure 
did. Halfway through, uh, three packs, three mythics. One is foil. General Kudro of Dranith. Really, really sick. I don't know that it gets in yet, which is very odd. We just have so many, like, competing things. In foil, this card is pretty nice. I like the, um, whatever this is in the background here. Is it like a glacier or a mountain or something? I can't quite tell, but it looks really cool. Wow, wow, triple mythics, okay. Wow, we have a forest and a human soldier token. Like I said, we're only halfway through, folks. We have a prickly marmoset pack next, three packs left to go. Um, wow, okay. We have a main serval. How are we gonna make a deck out of this? We have a glimmer bell, nice card. Cathartic reunion, garrison cat, Bushmeat Poacher, Adventurous Impulse, Adaptive Shimmerer, Vulpakeet again. Whew. Another Migratory Great Horn as well. Gloom Pangolin. Jesus. Zenith Flare? This kit is nonsense. Wow. That's our first uncommon. Barrier Breach is the second. And Blitz of the Thunder Raptor is the third. It's got Vadrock on it, folks. <laughs> that's what deck it wants to be in. That's for damn sure. Behind that, my next rare or mythic, oh my god, don't give me a heart attack here, is a Savai Triumph. So, um, not like a bomby card, but it's got, you know, two of the colors of uh, Vadrock, and a third in black, so it could help us with, like, General Kudro or the Labyrinth Raptor or something. Interesting. Uh, pretty nice Triome. Usually I don't like opening these, but we've already got three Mythics. Like, we've got a lot going on, so having a Triome to help us with a little bit of fixing if we need it uh, is actually a kind of a welcome sight. Behind it, just, I say just, but a Blossoming Sands, which is nice, more possible fixing and a dinosaur token. Still two packs to go. We have a Kogla the Titan Ape pack inside of that pack. We have a Tentative Connection, a Perimeter Sergeant, Thieving Otter, Almighty Brushwog again, Durable Coil Bug again, Patagia Tiger, interesting with like a General Kudro, type deck. Shredded Sails, Hampering Snare, Evolving Wilds for more fixing. Very nice. Blood Curdle. What a sick card. Um, interesting. Splashable? Maybe. We've got the Triome. We've got General Kudro or the Labyrinth Raptor, as I mentioned. This is definitely a splashable card. Very, very good. Call of the Death Dweller is also pretty splashable and our first uncommon. A Lead the Stampede is the second. And a Dire Tactics, also splashable, is the third, or, you know, at this point, maybe it's just those colors? Who the hell knows? I don't think so. But, yeah, I'm still actually leaning more towards Vadrock now, which means that we don't get to play Vivian, but, like, a Vadrock deck, Splash Black for, like, General Kudro and Labyrinth Raptor, probably not Labyrinth Raptor, but General Kudro um, seems pretty good. It lets us play Yadaro as well, do, like, a cycling strategy, Really weird. Um, but let's see. My next rare or mythic, maybe this makes my job harder or easier, is... Okay, I mean, hey, you know, it made it easier. It definitely should be these three colors as for now, or as of now. Um, wow, wow, wow. Wow, Inspired Ultimatum. Uh, yeah, it's expensive. Vadrock is nice and cheap, so, you know, there's options for us. Behind the Inspired Ultimatum is an island and a human soldier token. <clears throat> One pack to go. It is Kogla the Titan Ape. Let's see what Kogla has for us to make our job again, either easier or harder. We have a Thieving Otter. Go for Blood, more good cycling card. Spontaneous Flight. Bristling Boar. Come on. A Dead Weight. Essence Scatter, nice. Greater Sandworm, for cycling as well if we need it. Pacifism, very, very nice. Blister Spit Gremlin. Facet Reader. Fight as One is the first uncommon. This card's okay. Clash of Titans. This card's great. 
is the second. I love its target creature fights another target creature, so both of them can be on your opponent's side. I absolutely love that. It is five mana, but for that, you could just kill two of their things. Very cool. Uh, a boon of the wish giver. Wow. Yeah, I think we're getting hooked up for Vadrock here. Sorry, Vivian. Uh, and my last rare or mythic is... An Offspring's Revenge. I could, if we were splashing black, put this in, but I don't... I don't know. I don't think I would need this. I'm not super high on this card, to be fair. Um, and we do have that graveyard recursion with like Call of the Death Dweller. So if we were splashing black, I'd rather have that than this. I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't know that we need to splash black at all, to be fair. Like General Kudro is fine. I don't know that we have a ton of humans. Well, I guess we have uh, a lot of the like Snare Tactician and Dranith Stinger and Dranith Healer are humans. So maybe we do put Kudro in like the Savai Triome and like one or two other black sources interesting that's my thought as always let me know behind it nothing else Ooh, a rugged highlands but i mean you know not much else um and uh a punch out token card i can i show you three cards like i think i can do it i think we can make that work three mythics a three mythic kit folks three of them that is incredible I love that. Um, what an opening. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it even half as much as I did. This was sick. What a great opening. I'm very, very pleased. Um, but yeah, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What kind of a deck would you make? Do you agree with me that it's a Vadrock like cycling deck, uh, especially with Zenith Flare in there as well? Um, do, would you splash General Kudro? Would you not play any of or either of them and go for like a Vivian type deck um, and do some like mutating stuff with like green and white? Because we saw some good mutate stuff in those colors. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, uh, I like I said, I think Vadrock splashing Kudro, we can get the Inspired Ultimatum in there, the Yadaro in there. Yeah, I think that would be really sweet. But um, like I said, I've said in the past, you all, uh, many of you are better at this than I am. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Am I getting too greedy by doing that is really uh, the main question there. But that's going to be the end. Please stay tuned for more from this channel, because like I said, we have more of these retrospective videos to do. Um, so please stay tuned for that. We are streaming every Monday and Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So we hope that you will join us for those as well. If you subscribe and ring the bell, you will get notified whenever we go live, whenever a new video comes out, all that good stuff. We've got other channels, other series. We encourage you to check those out as well. But for now, from us here at the Geek For All family of channels, I have been Joe, and as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.